Hey folks, welcome back to another video on this Friday and I tried to make it short, but I think you really like this one. So a lot of people suggested this, that I need to try this and here's an example. So let's say we are in Bitwig Studio, we have here an instrument track, we have a piano, VST already running and you start to play on your keyboard, right? So you play around and you figure something out and maybe you think, well, this was actually really nice and it's probably going to be a masterpiece. But, you know, we just didn't hit record, so we don't have any notes in here. So now we just create here a new note clip and we can say, just give me into the arranger all the last notes we just played. And you can see it here. Maybe move the play it over here. So this is basically retrospect or retrospective recording for MIDI notes. Um, it always records the notes and only when you press notes on a keyboard or when there is MIDI input. So it works like this. Let's open this up and press here repaint multiple times. So we can see nothing happens, but when I start to play, So nothing will happen when you don't press a note on the keyboard and every time you press a note um, you save some kind of MIDI event into a JavaScript object also with a date and time. So I use JavaScript date objects or the date, yeah, the date object to figure out the time between the last event and the current event and then I figure out with the tempo uh, where to put notes in the grid or in this uh, piano roll grid. So it sounds actually more complicated than it is. And there's also always a 16 bar buffer. Maybe I can do it longer if you want to, but I choose to use 16 bars and I also always record from the end here. So, um, right. It goes until the beginning here and then it starts to remove notes and new notes always appearing here at the end. And you can also just maybe use here a note clip inside of the launcher. Do the same thing, paste it into the launcher, right? And then we have the same thing here. And you always keep all these notes. N nothing changes until you press a new key basically on the keyboard. And then it takes the time from the last event here, which was now a minute, minute ago. Uh, and then it moves all the notes to the left side and shows you the new notes here, right? But if you don't press anything on the keyboard, you keep basically all these notes forever. So this is how it works. It sounds more complicated than it is. Um, maybe it's not highly precise, so don't rely on it. The timing um, is just based on JavaScript date and time object, so it's probably not a super, super precise. And then I also round it to 16 notes, to the 16 note grid here. Um, so it's not super precise, but at least you don't lose your idea, your melody or, you know, just what you played on the keyboard. Okay, so this is retrospect um, or retrospective recording for MIDI notes. The only downside to the script, in my opinion, is that you need to exchange this controller script for your old MIDI controller script. So in here, controllers, right? Usually I use my Arturia Keystep Pro controller script, but it doesn't do anything special. And I don't use any special features of this controller script. It's just there to give me basically a MIDI input uh, in the select dropdown. So I disable this here. I don't use this, I actually can delete this. And then I create basically here a new controller. Uh, polarity, where it is here. 
and then I use retrospect. And this is more or less like a very generic basic MIDI or MIDI keyboard controller script, but with this edit feature that it records into a buffer. So I hit add and then I select here my Keystep Pro as a MIDI input. This is very important. So now the MIDI keyboard plays into my controller script. I record everything in a, into a buffer there and it also passes on all these notes to uh, Bitwig Studio here to retrospect keyboard. So you have to select this here in the uh, MIDI input drop down. Then you can just play notes live and also feed notes into my uh, controller script here, right? Let's click here, repaint. Yeah, I can see basically here. Yeah. So you never lose actually any notes that you play on the keyboard. And it's always recording because it kind of hijacks all the incoming MIDI data and pushes it into a JavaScript array and also give you uh, the throughput of the MIDI keyboard directly into uh, Bitwig Studio. There's also something I'm currently working on, which is here the scale mode and scale. This doesn't work at the moment. There is an, there's coming an update at the weekend or maybe next week where I want to include also a di diatronic transposer directly into the controller script. So usually when you play here in Bitwig Studio, you use a diatronic transposer like the key filter, and then you cor correct all the incoming notes to the scale the scale and the mode. The problem is when you hit record, you basically record what you play on the keyboard, not the output of this key filter. If you want to record the output of this key filter, you have to create another instrument track and then, you know, choose here and go to uh, here and then select key filter as an output and then record everything that comes out of the key filter into a second instrument track, which is super complicated. So I want to include basically this key filter directly into the controller script. So we get all the corrected notes directly into the note clip. So this is the idea, but it's not implemented yet. Um, it takes a bit of time. Like I said, maybe next week, maybe on the weekend, I'm just implemented here to drop down for the scale and the scale mode. I'm using also uh, the code I already did here for the melody maker and the scale maker. I just, you know, I have to test it and it takes a bit of time, but it's coming soon. And this one here already works as intended, in my opinion, so you can try it out. I also put this or put everything into this um, zip file, download all. You can just download the zip file and extract it into your controller script folder. And then you should be up to date. I also included new uh, scales here. Frank from Jana Brothers sent me a different or multiple new scales that you can try out. It's also included then in the zip file or in the scales.js uh, file. So this is also new. So this is retrospect. I hope you like it. Send me your feedback, send me your ideas. Um, I think it works great for me. I tested this here the, the last few days and yeah. It kind of works nicely. Let me know in the comments. Um, that's it for today. Have fun with this and see you in the next video. Bye.